Africa's use of innovative technology includes drones or unmanned aerial vehicles to quickly get urgently needed blood and medicine to health practitioners. Now Ghana is joining Rwanda in embracing this practice. VOA senior analyst Jeffrey Young explains the operations of drone company Zipline in those two nations. A life-saving blood transfusion is desperately needed. Since 2016 in Rwanda and as of this year in Ghana, these needs can be quickly delivered from the sky. These two African states have leaped over logistical hurdles with unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, built by Zipline, a U.S. technology company. Via Skype, the importance of this advance is explained by Rwanda Ministry of Health spokesman Malik Kayumba. This technology helped our country to deliver these services in a very few minutes, to between 15 to 45 minutes, comparing to four hours that we used to, to consider to, to provide that service. Kayumba says Zipline Rwanda has made about 12,000 blood deliveries. Each Zipline UAV can carry 1.7 kilograms of cargo, enough for a liter of blood or supplies such as vaccines or medications. Because the Zipline UAV carries cargo, it is bigger than the drones commonly used by hobbyists. Via Skype, Zipline Rwanda Operations Chief Israel Bimpe. Our UAVs are about uh, two meters long. They have a wingspan of about three meters. Uh, you know, everything weighs about uh, 20 kilograms. And so the design is pretty much uh, a modular design. The battery enables the UAV to travel up to 160 kilometers round trip. Most drones are remotely controlled by a person on the ground, but zipline UAVs use self-contained maps for guidance. Again, via Skype, Israel Bimpe. We built predetermined routes, so the regulator has exactly the knowledge of each coordinate of where the route that the UAVs will be taking every time it takes off from our distribution center to a particular health facility. Zipline personnel travel the country to create GPS coordinates for clear flight paths. Via Skype, Zipline Ghana's Daniel Marfo. We try to identify all the um, obstructions, possible obstructions within the area that we are about to you know, arrive. And um, we've also been uh, supported by other government agencies who have provided us with um, data. After the UAV makes its delivery, it returns to its base. Again, Daniel Marfo. As the UAV is um, approaching the recovery system, it's actually communicating with the recovery system. And they keep adjusting each other, you know, in millimeters till they align perfectly uh, with the snag you know, just under the hook, and then it captures it. When natural disasters strike, such as the two tropical cyclones that battered Mozambique this year, ground infrastructure often gets destroyed. Zipline Rwanda's Bimpe says the company is developing ways for its UAV system to get into damaged areas and emergency supplies into places where ground transportation is nearly impossible. Jeffrey Young, VOA News, Washington.